Okay, come on. Come play with me. Okay. I just threw it halfway across the room. Hey guys, it's Molly here again, the blind one, and today we are doing a full face of makeup with more products I am not just scared but terrified of trying. Let's start. So, I have a fake knockoff Artiste brush because the real ones are expensive and my friend gave this one to me because she didn't like it, which doesn't bode well for me. I have already primed my face and now I'm just going to use my Makeup Forever HD foundation, which honestly is like my holy grail foundation. This must be like, oh my gosh, I don't even know. I've had a lot of, a lot of these bottles. So I'm just gonna dot it over my face the way I would usually do if I was using a beauty blender or my hands as I usually would. Oh my gosh, okay. Now why this scares me is because I feel like I'm gonna end up like a streaky mess. like. This is, I feel like I'm rubbing a dog on my face. This might be a knockoff and the handle is super flimsy, like I could just break it right now, but the quality of the actual brush feels really good. Um, other than the fact that I feel like I'm rubbing a dog on my face, which is weird. I don't know how to use this, to be honest. This is just what I would assume I would do. Like, do I go in circular motions? Feels like it's sucking up my foundation so quick because I'm usually used to using like a damp sponge, you know? I don't know how this is gonna turn out. So I'm kind of just using, oh, yep, there's a glob. <laughs> I'm just using my hand to feel if it's blended and I found a very not blended spot. All right, so I've tried my best at that. Now I'm gonna go in with a little one and some concealer. This is also the Makeup Forever HD concealer. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger. When I say a little bit, maybe a little more than a little bit. And I'm gonna put it on my little breakout here. And I'm gonna put some underneath my eyes. And then I'm gonna take this and try to blend it out. Oh my God, it feels really weird. I don't know what motion I'm supposed to be using here. Okay, so I'm using my finger again to see. I mean, I could conceal down here too, but this thing is a lot of work. I mean, I'm not knocking Artiste brushes because I am using knockoff ones. So I don't know if those ones are better, but this feels very strange to me and I'm just worried I'm gonna look all streaky. Next up, I'm doing my cream blush, which I did cream blush in the last video and you guys were like, oh, you did so well. But this one, this is hot pink. This is bright hot pink, I've been told. And the last one I used was like a really neutral peach, so I feel like it was easier, like I went easy on myself. This one, I'm gonna dig in with my fingers like I did the last time and put it on. This is a Paul and Joe blush, in case anyone's wondering, in number two. It doesn't have a name, just number two. Okay, so I'm putting it on like that, and then I think I'm gonna use my like sponge. Cause last time I just used my fingers, but I feel like maybe blending it with a sponge might work. Oh, it feels so good to have a beauty sponge back in my hand. Oh my goodness, I feel so self-conscious. Like not knowing if it's even or if it's blended. Oh my goodness. Next, we're doing something I am so terrified to try. Like if any of it in this whole video goes wrong, it's gonna be this. This is the Stila Cream Contour Kit. So let's open this bad boy up. I love Stila products, but I think this one's gonna do me wrong. So it has a big mirror, which is useless for me. And then on this side, it has a contour. And on this side, it has a highlight. I'm really white. So I feel like the highlight's gonna be darker than my skin tone, but I don't know. So let's give it a try anyways. I feel like I'm gonna end up a streaky mess. What I'm gonna do, I think for this, is I'm going to apply it with this uh, concealer and or lip brush. And then I'm going to blend it out with my 
beauty sponge, which is a eco tools one in case anyone's wondering. All right, so I'm just gonna go on in here and I'm gonna apply highlight where I usually would, down the center of my nose. This feels so weird to do. Okay. On my cheekbones. And I've heard some people do it in like the middle of the forehead, but that doesn't sound like a good idea to me. I don't know, maybe I'll just do it. I'm gonna look like a fool by the end of this video anyways. So might as well just go all in. All right, and now I'm gonna apply the contour, which is where it's all gonna go downhill. Okay, I'm going to apply a stripe there. I'm going to apply a stripe there. It's like a really nice creamy consistency. I mean, the consistency is great. I just don't think I will have done a great job at doing this. I don't want to go too far down because I think that's where a lot of people go wrong. I'm just going from like feeling the top of my ear and kind of trying to do a short line under my cheekbone. So that's what I look like right now. And now the important part, blending it. The reason I did it with the like concealer, like applied it with the concealer uh, brush is because I know a lot of people use um, like contour sticks, which is like a thin line. So I wanted to create a thin line with this cream contour and I felt like a concealer pencil or a concealer brush was like the best way to do that. I don't know. Cream products scare me so much. I probably shouldn't be like going between blending contour and highlighter with the same side of the sponge. <laughs> I like this sponge for this though because there's like a flat side between the potentially streaky foundation and concealer and now potentially stripes of brown and highlight on my face. I am going to look like quite something by the end of this video. I don't even know if I'm blending this properly. I'm just kind of just going for it. I'm just like using the sponge how I maybe kind of would for foundation. Can't forget the hair. Could you imagine, you guys, if I like tried to blend out everything and then just accidentally forgot that I did on my hairline? That's what happens when you can't see yourself in the mirror to remind yourself of what you've done. Thank goodness I remembered. You guys would be like screaming at your screen. <laughs> Do the hairline. Contour is such a strange idea to me because when I was sighted, I had zero depth perception. So everybody looked like they do in a movie to me. <laughs> like everything was flat. Nobody had dimension to begin with. So to me, like adding dimension like this sounds so strange. I don't know if there's like goopy grossness all over the sponge, but I'm gonna flip sides just to get a clean side. As per usual, I'm just trying to like over blend because I know even with over blending, I'm probably still gonna look like a mess but since the last video i've been doing my brows so you never know i could end up falling in love with one of these products again all right i'm just gonna stop there i mean i don't think it's getting any better than what it might be now so we're just gonna move on to the next step so now it is time for the world famous laura mercier loose setting powder i have used her pressed setting powder but loose powders terrify me. In the last video I did this, which will be linked below, I went easy on myself. I did one that was like in a big container and the powder was like way at the bottom. This is like real. Oh, does it have a, it does have a sift. Is that a sifter? I'm trying to feel if there's holes in it. I don't know how this works. Okay. Oh, oh, there's like a sticker to peel off. Okay. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. Now do I, how do I, okay, I'm going to take the lid and maybe try to like, because I don't know how fast this comes out, so I want to like feel, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> you guys, I'm such a noob. Do I like, no, you don't spin it. How do I do this? Oh, oh, powder's coming out. Okay, okay. Now, I am going to try to bake under my eyes, which is such a ridiculous concept to me. So I've loaded the brush, which is my fa one of my favorite brushes. And we're just gonna pack it on to my under eyes and leave it be for a bit. 
Packing loose powder onto your under eyes just sounds like such a waste of product to me. But nonetheless, this is what all the cool kids do. So I'm doing it. All right, now I'm gonna try to dump some more into the lid. Maybe. Is this how you're supposed to do it, guys? <laughs> is this how people do it? They dump it? I'm trying to like feel if product's coming out. This is tricky. Now I'm not, I'm not scared of spilling it now that I know there's a sifter, but I'm like, how? This takes a lot of effort. Oh, oh, am I spraying it everywhere? Is it everywhere? It kind of feels like I'm making a cloud of, of product. And this is expensive. I don't want to waste it. Okay, I feel like it's all over my fingers too. Okay, I'm gonna wipe the brush onto my fingers to pick up product. And then I'm just gonna swirl it around in here. I don't know if I have a ton of product on this brush or no product on this brush. But I just wanna set all of these cream products that I've been using. It's a really nice texture powder. Wow. Okay. I really like the texture of this setting powder. I really like the pressed one, but this one feels even nicer. I'm just not sure how I feel about doing that every day, especially because I feel like I maybe created like a cloud of product. But that like sets really nice. Although I feel like I probably used too much potentially. Okay, now I'm going to, I feel like I've, I don't know if this product's still in the lid. Oh, this is tricky to use, but I do like this. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, okay. Now I'm going to wipe this away because I think that's what you're supposed to do. I'm so scared of looking like a ghost under my eyes now. I mean, my under eyes feel really nice though. They're like so smooth. Okay, I don't know how that looks, but that's that. That wasn't as bad as I thought, but at the same time it was worse than I thought. So I don't know how that went. All right, next step, gel liner. In the last video I used liquid liner. This time it's gel. So this is a Stila gel liner and it is the Stila smudge pot in black. And then I also got the Stila like liner brush. So I don't know how to do this. If I just like rub it around in here, <laughs> I don't have to tap it off, but I feel like I'm supposed to. Okay. Oh, it feels like wetter than I thought it would. Weird. So I'm trying to just like trace along my lash line, but just like I found in the last video with the liquid one, it's really hard to like feel the lashes the way it's, it's like a lot easier to do it with a firm pencil. So I dipped back into the product. I feel like there's like a hair. Oh geez, now I've just went on my lid with this. I have no control. All right, I don't know if I should try to go under. I feel like I'll poke myself in the eye, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try just for you guys. Oh gosh, okay. I just did like the outer half of my under eye because I don't want to look like a total raccoon. Hopefully that's even on both sides. Like I went the same distance. I feel like pencil liner is easier I, it's still my favorite that I've tried. I, I don't think I'll be switching to gel or liquid anytime soon. It feels like a nice consistency. I think I like this better than I liked the one I used in the last video, but still tr too tricky for me. All right, and now we have, once again, another very famous product, the Benefit Gimme Brow. So I just picked this up and I picked it up in the shade three so like the middle one of the three. Oh, and i opened it upside down so i probably should have brought a brow brush to comb through but i'm just gonna push my brows in towards the center of my face so that the hairs are like standing up because when i asked the girl how to properly use this product she said to like brush it this way and push it down onto the skin so I have a couple friends who love this product, including one that's blind. So maybe I will too. I'm feeling doubtful though. People either love the fluffy brows or hate the fluffy brows. I have no opinion because I can't see them. <laughs> I feel like this is trickier 
than the brow product I used in my first video. Like I said, I kind of went easier on myself in that video than I am in this one. I just don't know how to precisely get like the tip of the brow. Okay, now I feel like I should comb them back through this way. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm getting it on the center too far. It's so weird having like wet brows. I'm just gonna kind of push them down with my finger, pat them down. All right, that's one brow. It's so awkward like sitting here feeling like I look like a clown. Like I have no idea how crazy I look right now, but I feel like it's probably not a good sight. Embarrassing myself on the internet for everybody, just for people's enjoyment. So you better be enjoying this. <laughs> All right, so I'm doing the same, just patting this brow down. I don't feel like that went very well. All right, I'm gonna just quickly go do my mascara and then I'll be back to finish this off with lips. All right, so I did my mascara. Hopefully it's not too blobby. But I look like a mess anyways, so. What's a little mascara on my nose, right? All right, so the last step is lips and I am doing lip sense. That's what it's called, right? I'm pretty sure that's what this is called. If it's not, I'll write the real name across the screen. I'll also write shade across the screen. All I know is it's very vivid pink to go with my vivid pink cheeks. Um, I was sent this in my P.O. Box. P.O. Box, link below. But uh, thank you to the girl who sent this to me. I haven't tried it yet. I'm terrified to try it because I watched Safia Nygaard's video and it scared me. All right, so if you know anything about this product, you have your base coat. Let's smell this, which apparently burns your lips. So, here we go. Oh, doesn't smell bad at all. Oh, oh, okay, okay. It feels like I'm putting like almost nothing on my lips. Bold, vivid colors, like I love them, but that's usually when I need the most help from my mom. I hope this was actually step one. So I think I just put the remover on my lips. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to put that on first, but I did, <laughs> which doesn't sound right, but I'm going with it. Ooh, okay, this smells bad. Okay. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm, that stings. It feels like I'm putting rubbing alcohol on my lips. Mm. Mm. It tastes like chemicals, smells like chemicals, and feels like chemicals. So, not a huge fan so far. What scares me about this product, like why I haven't tried it yet, is because as I said, like usually bright colors, I feel like it's getting chunky already. Like on the corner here. Usually bright colors, I need the most help because I have very uh, strong peaks on the top of my lip where my cupid's bow is. So usually I need help getting right up to the top and I can sometimes go out of line a little bit there. Um, and so I'm scared because this is supposed to last like 12 or 14 or 18 hours or something insane like that. So I'm scared that if I've got it on my face, then I'm like screwed for the rest of the day. I know I have the oops remover, but I don't know, seems sketchy. Um, and now the gloss that goes over top. Mm. I don't know if it's just because I put the oops remover down first, but it feels quite moist to begin with, so. Mm. Gloss is a very sticky texture. Kind of reminds me of the one, kind of reminds me of the MAC Pro Longwear lip gloss. But I don't hate it. Hmm. I don't know, it feels like I have a lot of product on my lip. Like, my lips feel very product-y, and I don't really love that. So, <laughs> oh, cringe, this is the end result. <sighs> this was stressful for me. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I look like a clown. Uh, but you guys can let me know how you think I did, and what products you wanna see me do in the next full face of makeup products I've been too scared to try video. I will also link my actual makeup tutorial down below in case you wanna see how I really do my makeup because I'm no makeup artist, but I don't think I'm this bad at doing my makeup on the daily. 
So go check that out if you want to see how I usually look in makeup. Um, and definitely go check out other videos like me trying to do my nails for the first time on my own and the other full face of products I was scared to try video. All of those links will be down below. Please hit that subscribe button if you would like to join the fam jam. If you did not like this video, if you liked this video, hit that button. I just want you to be a part of this, alright? Thank you. I love you. Bye!